another exciting episode on the Empire State Fishing Channel. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a review. I got a company from da Bass Dash Fishing sent me a pair of waders that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys, and I'm going to show you my thoughts and give you my opinions on it, as well as we're going to be doing a little bit of trout fishing to test out the gear and everything that I got from them in the Delaware River right here on the East Branch of the Delaware River. So. Remember, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like, hit the subscribe button down below and turn post bell notifications on to be notified of when I post future videos. Other than that, let's go get to fishing and let's get this review started. All right, so you're probably gonna see me in this about, it may take me about five minutes, but it's probably gonna take you one second. So the snap of my fingers, I'll be in the gear. All right, so a little bit of an update, just so that you guys know, let me take me about the stand here. So a little bit of an update. We got our first O-ring here. We got a second O-ring right here. A little chest pouch for all of our little tiny, you know, either corn or worms or stuff like that. We also have some shotgun shells in case I want to do some duck hunting. Maybe if that's something that I can do. And then I will turn you guys around. You have your little 600 thin slit boots right on here. Some compressed knee pads all that good stuff and then you even have a belt on the side here that allows you to go all the way around so that you can actually use a net and stuff like that. so overall i mean i like these waders if you guys want to check them out i think they're 180 dollars on amazon i think you have to go to bass dash fishing and just click on there these are their uh, camo neoprene i'm pretty sure waders with 600 thin slit booties and little knee pads and then it comes with a belt and stuff like that as well as some tighten downs the only con that i have on these is it doesn't seem like they have one on the back side here they don't have like a little o-ring on the back so i don't i wouldn't be able to put my uh i wouldn't be able to put my net on there but you know it is what it is i might be able to rig rig something up or i could put it maybe on my belt area right here but i mean not too shabby i mean for presentation for feel i'd give it a 10 out of 10 for presentation and you know packaging 10 out of 10 shipping 10 out of 10 with them i love their company i love everything about bass dash they're a great company and i'm proud to work with them and i mean as far as you know the feel and overall performance i'd probably give it about a 9 out of 10 the only reason why i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 is just because of that little o-ring on the back side there but like i said i could probably manage it on my belt loop or something like that but that's the only reason why i'd give them a 9 out of 10 but if you guys want to check them out, I will leave a link down below for you to check them out. And like I said, they're like 180 bucks, but they're a lot better than the Bass Pro Shops and stuff like that. And they are very, very comfortable, especially for, uh, you know, going out on the water and long trips like this. You're not going to have it synced onto you and stuff like that. It's very loose. I'm able to maneuver around in it. So that's good. But anyway, that's enough with the review and I will see you guys out on the water. Let's go catch some fish with this stuff.
Spinners, flies, everything. Power bait, nothing. Hitting nothing. All right, now we're gonna try a rooster tail and we're gonna see if that does any better. We're gonna see if that does any better. Very lightweight. Just let it sink and float, sink and float. Yeah, let's see if they like this a little better. They might like my rooster tail a little bit better. What is it? Oh, nice. I think I just caught a little brown. I have one on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? I wish I had my net. He was right on the shallows. Come on, stay pinned, you. Nice. Rooster tail. Look at that brown, guys. He's got to be at least 16, 17 inches. That's beautiful. First brown in a long time. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, at least they're starting to bite. That is awesome. Look at how healthy that brown is. 16, 17 inches, that's awesome. Let's get a picture for Instagram and then we'll go release them. Alrighty, buddy. Thank you very much for the fight. I appreciate it. Burst ever on the spinner. Go ahead, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah guys, all I was using is just a little tiny rooster tail spinner with an eggshell sinker right on the top of it. About 10 inches up, which is perfect. And he hammered that. He wasn't going nowhere, which is nice.
And that is going to be it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. We did end up catching one brown trout. I had another one of them on on one of my other, uh, I think it's Blue Fox Vibrex spinner spinners or inline spinner, but he got off. But then we casted it out on that certain direction right there. I had a split shot, I th an eggshell sinker, a big size egg eggshell sinker, um, about 10 inches down from a chartreuse colored rooster tail and he hammered that thing that that trout was well actually that was a brown trout that trout was probably about 17 18 inches which is a pretty nice healthy trout and these guys are not stalkers or anything like that they actually come from a specific reservoir and when they open the gates and everything the water just flows right through and these are all native trout they're not anything stocked related or anything like that so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like go down below, hit the subscribe button, as well as turn post bell notifications on to be notified of when I post future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also hope you enjoyed the Bass Jazz review as well as the fishing. And I'll talk to you guys in the next fishing adventure. Peace.